are going to start our day with our first speaker. He is from Biomodex, which is based in Paris, and they have offices in Boston, and they are developing lifelike 3D printed replicas of patient-specific organs. So you're going to feel like you're in a Grey's Anatomy episode um, by the end of today. But they're working with surgeons to enable them to pinpoint and accurately plan operations on patients. So without further ado, we've got a busy morning this morning. I'm going to welcome to the stage Thomas Marchand, co-founding CEO and chairman of Biomodex. Thomas. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Gene. Thank you, Dean, for having me. Thank you very much to give me the opportunity to present Biomodex. Biomodex is a French-American startup based in Paris in Boston, and we are helping the physicians, the surgeon, to predict what would be the best treatment for every single patient. So let's talk a little bit about what is the value of the 3D printing technology in the healthcare industry. Um, first, um, the 3D printing technology allows to manufacture very complex parts. That's number one. And what is the more, more complex than the human body, right? The second value of 3D printing is to manufacture bespoke things. It's not more expensive to manufacture a thousand different parts than a thousand same parts, right? That, these are the two values. You have the complexity on one, on one hand, and you have the personalized approach on the other hand. Before diving in what, in what Biomodex is doing today um, with the support of Dassault System as an accelerated startup, um, I just want to show you a few applications that are very relevant in the healthcare industry thanks to 3D printing. There are, for example, the exoskeletons, wearable prosthesis. Uh, you just have to do a surfacing scan, like you can see on the playground over there, and then you can fit the perfect prosthesis for, um, for each patient. There is another application that is even more interesting. It is implantable device. This is an example of a titanium prosthesis that the surgeon will implant on the patient. This is a medical device class three device. And this is very exciting. And the third application is on the surgery space as well. It's surgical guides. So basically it is a shape that you position on the organ of the patient and it can help the surgeon to cut or to drill the right, in the right position, the best way for the patient. And it's custom made, of course. So let's go back to Biomodex and what is Biomodex and what is the value we can give to the physicians and to the industry today. Let's talk a little bit about a surgical procedure. To have um, a great surgical procedure with a good clinical outcome, you need the alignment of three items. The first one is the patient with his pathology, with his anatomy. That is custom, it's not custom, it's bespoke for every single patient. The second thing is the physician, because every single physician is different. They got different cultures, different trainings, and they have their own skills. Some are better than others. And three, you have the technology. It could be medical imaging, or even an implantable device. I just want to show you two patients that has exactly, they have exactly the same anatomy and they have exactly the same pathology. On the left, you have the patient A, on the right, you have the patient B. And you can see that the anatomy differs a lot from one patient to another. So we understand now that it's really key for the physician to understand what is the patient and how to treat the patient the best way. If you can see on this metric, this is pretty interesting because you can see that there is no direct correlation between the procedural volume and the clinical outcomes. The surgeon F has done more than 500 operations in the cardio application, but it still has 
a 4% mortality rate. This is huge. And we understand now that it makes sense for the physician to think about every single patient like a unique patient with a unique approach, a unique operation. So what is the biomedic solution? How do we do? So we recreate this convergence of the three elements, the patient, the physician, the technology, the day before the operation with a patient-specific planning. How do we do that? We develop lifelike 3D printed replicas of patient anatomy direct from their CT scan, delivering a unique practicing experience and plan experience the day before the operation. So let's dive in inside a real patient case. This is Susie. She's 40, 43, and she's got a brain aneurysm. You can see here an angiogram. That's the medical imaging that goes from the CT scan. After five days, we have the organ twin of Susie. This is the brain artery of Susie. Then the physician in the operation room can do the planning, and we can see here the convergence of the three things. The patient, that is the organ twin, the physician, and the technology. What is the value for the physician to do this pre-op planning. He can do the X-ray setup. The medical images is turning around the patient, right? And you need to set up these medical images. You need to choose the right strategy, the right approach, the right access. You can size the perfect medical device for every single patient and you can try different positioning of the device. So our vision is really to drive more decisions before the operation in a safe and replicatable environment instead of doing this during the operation on the patient. It makes a big difference, and this is really a game changer in surgery today. So we give a lot of value to the physician but we give also some value to our clients. We are a B2B company, to the medtech industry. We really help them as a market access accelerator. We help the physician, and the key word is self-confidence. We help the patient because it's safe for the patient now. We help the medical images industry because we can help them to reduce the X-ray dose on every single patient. It is huge because it's the biggest problem of the medical, the medical imaging industry. We can help the hospital as well to lower the complications, to lower the adverse events. And we can think about amazing business model with the insurance company risk sharing. And I'm pretty sure that we, we will find something unique to work with them. So let's talk a little bit about the tech. There are many engineers in this audience. So what is the tech of Biomodex and how DS helps us? So what was our biggest challenge is to reproduce the complex organic heterogeneous tissues of the human body. That is the more complex things that you can have in the, in the nature that behave the same that inside the body. That was a huge challenge. And that is why we have developed a unique technology that is in VivoTech. It's really the barrier for us when we think about competitors. It's really the unique thing about Biomodex. It's how the tissue can react exactly the same on the synthetic organ. So the core of the tech is an algorithm that built 3D printed composite materials to mimic the in vivo biomechanics of organic tissue. So on one hand, we have the target, the mechanical target of the patient. We know that the, his arteries has to react to behave this way. On the other hand, we have access to um, some materials of 3D printing, right? And our algorithm computes a distribution of material to match 
the target, the mechanical target of the patient. And we can do this for every single patient. So what was the paradigm before? We were able to 3D print shapes and colors, and we are moving to something that is way more interesting in the life science industry, is having the shape, the color, and the function of the organ. Because it doesn't make sense for a surgeon to plan a case on the heart model, right? So what is Biomodex? It's really the missing link between computational modeling, FEA, and the 3D printing. For you guys that use the Simulia suite, Abacus software, we are basically 3D printing the FEA model. That's what we do. So once we have done all this digital path with a file of the medical images, at the end of the process, we have what we call a cartridge. You can see here the cartridge. And the colors are different stiffness because we have modelized all the different surrounding tissues that you have around the artery. So here it's stiffer because it's surrounding by bone, and here it's softer because it's surrounding by brain. Once you have this cartridge, you plug it inside the station, and the station reproduces the blood flow of the patient. So it's basically a pump that is pumping a heated blood flow because you need to have this heated blood flow for the medical devices to deploy exactly just like inside the patient. how the physician can order the cases. So they just go inside a platform that is HIPAA compliant because it's, very, it's, it's, it's crucial for us, the management of the data of the patient. And so they can order in five days only, in seven days in the US, a case for them to train before the operation, to plan the operation for their patient. The target it's really possible, thanks to the 3D experience platform, is to reach two days. And even one day, if the printer is in the hospital, that could be a business model, we can reach one day patient-specific planning. So what is unique about Biomex? I said that this is really biomechanics. That's the key word of what we are doing. We are a team of biomechanicians but we have, a, as well, a compliant ordering platform, plug-and-play approach, a unique regulatory and IP barrier. We are pretty close to the FDA. And the scalability. We can 3D print, at the end, thousands of patients because it's 3D printing, right? It's scalable. We have the support of the best key opinion leaders you can have. We have something unique, and they're, like, blown away. I was dreaming about the solution like this since, like, 30 years. Now I can assess what is the best treatment for my patient. So we have, for example, the support of Jacques Moret, who is the inventor of a unique technique that is a billion, about three, a market about three billion right now. Um, we have the support of Alain Cribier, who is one of the better cardiologists in the world that has invented the Tavi. It's a huge market as well, billions. And we have the support of Juan Granada, who is based in New York, who is the CEO of the biggest society of cardiology in the world. I just want to show you a picture of Jacques Moret, the inventor of interventional neuroradiology. And he has done a live case in front of the audience, like you guys today, of a thousand neurosurgeon in Paris and the biggest conference. And he has recorded a case, he recorded a planning, and then he has done the real operation live. And he said, without biomedics model, I wouldn't have taken the risk to operate on this patient. So it means that we can treat the most complex cases, but we can even treat the patient that the surgeon won't have operated. And this is really a game changer. So we are very fortunate to have been source as the very first startup 
in the 3D Experience Lab. Um, it's Patrick Johnson in 2015 that came to us and said, we have something in the pipe that is very interesting. We can help you guys. And so what is the 3D Experience Lab? It's, uh, it's an ac acceleration program to help the startups to reach their goal, technology goal, and go to market as well. It's a five years program. We have access to the platform, of course. We have software education and coaching. And I'm glad that Monica just accepts to be my mentor, strategic mentor. Thank you very much. And um, we have software integration as well and R&D opportunities to improve the products of the systems to fit the needs of the life science industry because, you know, organic shapes are much more complex than even a full commercial plane. So what are the products we use every day um, in the platform? Cadia for CAD, a lot of structural analysis, FEA, computational models with a Simulia suite, and um, Innovia as well. We are deploying Innovia. Even if we are 25 people startup, uh, we are deploying Innovia, and it helps us a lot. So what is the value for us as a startup of the 3D experience platform? It's the data and the way we manage the data. We are all from the Y generation, and we are much more comfortable with the cloud approach than the software and CD approach, right? So we have the safety of data, traceability of data, structure, the way to collaborate on the same file at the same time. It's huge for us. It's really, it really fits our needs as a young startup. And we have opportunities to communicate, to manage all the company through the platform. That is amazing. So just to finish, I just want to open up what is next, how the 3D printing can help the patient in the future. In the future, you will be able to 3D print scaffolds and to implant some cells inside to replace your organ. Simple. I'm Thomas Marchand, CEO and founder of Biomedex. Thank you very much.